Welcome to the October class for making the most of your die cutting machines. I'm Nicole McGuirk and this month's class doesn't feature a specific die cut machine, although I did use the silhouette for my example here, but rather how you, you can use your die cutting machine to create home decor items, especially maybe for the holidays and things like that coming up. My banner was created for Halloween, obviously, but you could do a similar design for Christmas or birthdays. I also have a birthday one um, that the photo is over on two peas if you'd like to see it. So um, consider using your Sizzix or Slice or, or whatever you have to make decorations for your home. How I created this banner, you can see here I kind of layered some things. I was considering die cutting a whole bunch more than I ended up die cutting. I had these glitter die cuts from Little Yellow Bicycle, so I wanted to use those instead. This is the new Silhouette software, and I've opened up a new document here in the software, and I'm just changing the size of my document to 12 inches long to fill up that whole carrier sheet. And I really like in the new software, you can see that kind of tan, excuse me, tan border that is your carrier sheet. It's disappeared now because I changed the dimensions of my paper. So in my library, in the search box, I typed in pennant and it came up with all these different designs. And I clicked on this particular design because it has a little dashed line for easy folding that, and it has the little tabs that fold over. And I think it's really easy to attach to ribbon or cording or, or whatever you have there. It just makes it real easy to attach it. So this is my favorite one. I've used it quite a lot. And I'm just stretching one of the corners up so that the length, the whole length of this pennant is seven and a half inches. By pulling the corner, it doesn't distort the image at all. And then I just, up on the toolbar, I clicked copy and paste, and I pasted another pennant, and I'm gonna paste it again, go up in my toolbar and rotate it 180 degrees, and that way I can fit three of these on one eight and a half by 12 sheet of paper. Um, you might want to be careful in case your design has text on it or a design that wouldn't look good upside down. So I, I had to kind of alter that a bit with a couple of my pattern papers. So that's what that looked like. Now before I cut that out, I've opened up another pennant and this has a lot of design. So I went down and the ungroup button is now in the left hand corner. I think maybe my, my photo edit or my video editing software cut that out I apologize but you can ungroup and I am getting rid of all of these except for this scallop I'm maybe going to take out that little pre-cut hole there I'm going to grab a corner and make this larger see there you can see there it is that's going to be my border and I kind of then I went to the top and stretched it just a tiny bit because that does distort the scallop but this made it look good, and this is what I, it'll look like when it's cut out. So it'll be a little matte for the pennant. I just think that um, adding a layer or two really helps make the pennant pop. So I'm just going to copy that, and I'll open up another new document and paste. Click the paste up there in the toolbar. So. I'm going to do the same thing as I did with the other pennant and do a copy paste. Kind of move that over, paste again, and then up in the toolbar, I'll click rotate 180 degrees. So I am needing 12 of the regular pennants that I first did and 12 of these scalloped pennants. So by doing it this way, I've picked four to five sheets of paper each to cut out my design. The next thing I'm going to do is create some text. 
And the text toolbar is over on the left side, which again, my video editing software cut off. I'm very sorry. And I thought that it would be fun to die cut the letters for my banner, which I want to do Toil and Trouble as my banner title or what it'll show. And um, I just kind of was playing around with the text a little bit to see. And I decided I th thought it would be better if I did the letters one by one instead of trying to do them all at once. So I need to get rid of those real quick. And I typed in T. And then I just click outside the box and then click it and drag it. And there you can see it's a really distressed font. This font is called Jailbird Jenna, and it's available for free download at defont.com. Um, it's just a kind of a fun one. And I would suggest if you're going to use a distress font like this that you cut it larger because all those little distress marks um, won't cut as well at a smaller scale. So my letter is going to be two inches high. So I'm just clicking one of those outside corners and dragging it till the little uh, scale there says two inches. And I'm just going to repeat this for all of my letters for my title. And I've sped this up to just quickly show how I individually, individually added all of the letters for my banner onto one sheet. I'm cutting them all out of a silver metallic, metallic paper by Making Memories. I'm just going to put those all in. I, and then I'm going to go back to the sheet with the scallops and I'm going to cut that. And I'm over here on the right side. I have my cut settings open and I'm going to choose the heaviest weight cardstock sped up the cutting a little bit. So I choose the heaviest weight cardstock to use the pink cutting tip for the silhouette. It's just the one I always use. So then I cut that out and I followed that same step for everything else. Now comes the fun putting together part and here's just one that shows you all the different elements. The scallop and the pennant, um, one of the letters die cut from that metallic paper, and then a couple of pre-made die cuts from Little Yellow Bicycle. I've had those, I think they maybe are from last year, and they're just kind of a fun glitter, which adds some nice texture and dimension, plus just kind of a way to use up maybe some things that you haven't used. Makes it easy since they're already pre-cut. So I adhered that to the scallop background. Next I'm going to show you one of the pennants already put together. I adhered it and then I machine stitched all of these. I really think the machine stitching, I can't see it very well on that one. Let's look, here's one that you can see it better on. The machine stitching really just adds a little something to it, kind of classes it up a little bit. So I'm going to take some adhesive and adhere my letter. And you could use spray adhesive. I was just using the adhesive on my table um, because there weren't any really small parts. I think if I would do it again, I'd probably use my spray adhesive and just spray them all at once and then adhere them. I'm using a stylus to punch out a couple of those little distress marks that didn't come out when I peeled off my letter from the um, carrier sheet for the silhouette. And then I'll just adhere that right to the center of my little pennant. And there's the, a little kitty cat glitter die cut from Little Yellow Bicycle as well. I didn't really like how I got that letter put down, so I'm adjusting it a little bit. I'm going to add a little adhesive to my cat. Again, probably would have been easier with some spray adhesive, but I didn't use it this time. And then I thought that O didn't look quite right, so I flipped it around. I don't know what was bothering me there, but I just didn't think it looked very good. And you can see that that metallic paper is really shimmery. The light really bounces off of, off of it. And then I'll adhere the kitty cat. And then really this pennant is done. I'm just going to add a couple things there. And I just followed those same steps for the remaining pennants. Kind of, I 
line them up and I machine stitch them all. I kind of, I lay them out first and kind of put them in an order that I liked, kind of a random order. There's the and I used. I believe it's from maybe, I don't remember which title from the Silhouette store, but it's Lonnie Stevens handwriting. So I add a little adhesive to that, swiping that off my table where it got on there. And I'm going to adhere that to the middle of my, my paper. Put that little bat, or the big bat, in there so I can get the placement right. Then I'll add a little adhesive to him as well. So you can see I'm not adding just a ton of stuff to the surface of each pennant. I didn't, I wanted it to be kind of simple to look, but individually they're simple, but when they're all put together, they really have a nice presentation. So there I've got them all put together. I lined them up assembly style and put them all together. And then I've got this really tiny black check gingham ribbon had this for years and years. I have a huge spool of it. And you really, if you're going to be doing a long title like this, that's something to consider is that you're probably going to need quite a bit of ribbon. I'm just folding those tabs over and using the tiny attacher to secure them. Now, I went ahead and did each of these just on this black ribbon, black and white ribbon, and later I realized I felt like it was missing something. I wanted it to have just a little bit of fun flair, and I had already attached all of these little tabs, and I didn't want to have to undo them all. So I'll show you what I did here in a little bit to add that orange kind of frilly um, ribbon trim. I think it's from Making Memories. I'll show you how I attach that here in a minute. So I just continued that for the rest of those pins. And then here they all are. And I just really liked this stuff. I thought it added a fun look. So I put it, threaded it through a pretty large size sewing needle. And I'm just kind of running it through that way. It didn't take near as long as I thought it was going to doing it like this. And it was much easier than A, redoing it, or be trying to thread them through these little paper things and possibly tearing them. So I just stuck them through each and pulled that through. So once I got that done, I tied a little orange polka dot ribbon at the end of each and sewed a black button to it just to secure those ribbon ends so that the pennants didn't ever come off. And here is the finished result. Thanks for watching another video brought to you by twopeasinabucket.com.